Bitcoin has continued its upwards trajectory since reclaiming $16,000, with price now rallying closer to 70 k than it has done in months. Could this move take us to new all-time highs, or is Bitcoin likely to struggle to run higher? Today, we're going to be looking at whether Bitcoin has the strength to run to a new all-time high, and where better to start than the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index chart we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. Now, one thing we can see is even though Bitcoin, like we said, has rallied up from $60,000 quite rapidly up towards 66, 67 K, we haven't actually got too far ahead of ourselves. Usually at this point in the past few months, anytime we have a double digit percentage gain, everyone starts getting in a frenzy and starts getting a little potentially overly bullish about what could happen next. But even now, after we were in the low $50,000, not that long ago, Bitcoin has rallied quite strongly and we're seeing fear and greed index scores actually at pretty healthy levels. Even yesterday, as I filmed this, we're in the neutral area, even though we were at above $66,000. And today, even though, as I said, we rallied to near 70, sorry, as we rallied to near $68,000, we're still only in the slightly greedy territory at a rating of 65, which we only have to look to a few months ago, well, about a year ago now, actually, in October last year, when we could see that around this level of greediness, around this level of sentiment, giving levels of 64, 65-ish, as we can see here, in November 2023, when the price was at $34,000, price then continued to practically double, over double to $73,000. So a rating of 65 is pretty good. We're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. It's only when we get these very high 90 plus ratings that we really need to be worried that we're maybe getting a little bit carried away with sentiment. And along with that, we're also seeing some pretty major levels of resistance now support being reclaimed, such as the short-term hold at realized price. If I just zoom in over the recent cycle here, we can see that over the past few months, Bitcoin has really struggled to convincingly stay above this level and turn it into support. Now, this is the average accumulation price of all BTC from new market participants. So this cost basis allows us to see when new market participants are at break even, when we're exactly at this level in profit when we're above or at a loss when we're beneath this level. And we can see this is currently sitting at around 62 and a half near $63,000. And as we've rallied above this, hopefully this can give us some conviction that over the coming days, weeks, and potentially few months, we do have that strength to potentially continue moving higher. If we just look towards previous cycles, we can see that this level typically acts as some support during a bull cycle. We can see multiple instances during 2016 and 2017 where we retraced this level or slightly beneath it. New market participants potentially had a little bit of short-term fear and capitulation. Bitcoin transferred to older, more experienced market participants, and then we rallied higher. So hopefully, as I said, we can see this level of support continue to be a foundational level for a move even higher. And if we move to the Bitcoin funding rates, this is specifically the coin-denominated funding rates on the 24-hour time frame. We can see that after, again, months of pretty volatile action in this metric where we had incredibly positive values on this metric, incredibly negative and people were shorting Bitcoin. We can see that we've now stabilized in a very neutral and healthy level, which is great to see. Because like I said, once we see these huge swings in the funding rates, indicating that a vast majority of derivative traders are paying a massive premium just to keep their long positions open when this value is positive, or if it's negative, this actually is a good counter trader indicator once we see a majority of traders betting on Bitcoin's downside move continuing and paying for the privilege to keep their short positions open. Again, that's a good counter indicator, but now we've had a very sustained period of very healthy funding rates, which indicates that we're not getting too carried away with the leverage. We're not getting too many volatile swings up and down just from these volatile derivatives traders, which is very healthy for the market. We can see here when Bitcoin ran up to an all-time high and these had very sustained positive rates, that that isn't sustainable to be paying a huge amount, double, probably near triple digit percentage annualized funding just to keep your position open. So now that we're around neutral, it gives us a little bit more belief that we can continue this move higher. And if we just go into the price action chart here, as I set this all up just a couple hours ago, we were actually just below this trend line here, we'd ran up from where we opened the day about $66,000 to near $68,000.
And we've ret retraced a little bit. We've had a bit of a whipsaw of the past few hours. But what we can see here is even though people are seeing a lot of bullish catalysts and we've had a little bit of a reset and hopefully the market's in a bit of a healthier place to continue an upwards move, we do still have this resistance trend line, this downwards resistance level above us that we do need to contend with, which as we can see, I, I promise I drew this before anything, any price got even close to this level. We can see we have retraced from that point. So clearly this is a level of interest that traders are watching to potentially take some profits on their short term positions or maybe even take some short punts on BTC. But one thing that is helpful is if we look to the 200 daily moving average, again, similar to the short term hold at realized price, we've been struggling to convincingly break above this for multiple months now. After we broke beneath it in very early August, we had a fake out here after we'd had resistance a few days earlier. Again, another fake out before resistance once more. So we can hopefully turn this level into a line of support. So hopefully we can come down, retest this level, which is currently at around $63,000. I think that'd be a good risk to reward entry price potentially if we were to come back down, retest that, turn that level into support, especially considering price action from a technical perspective is looking a lot healthier now. If we just look over the past few months, we had this high here and then a low, but then we had a lower high and a lower low and a lower high and a lower low. But what we like to see is when Bitcoin price rebounds. So again, we had a lower high, but then once we had a higher low, this was the first indication, this low here, that we were maybe having a bit of a trend change in the Bitcoin price action. And that was confirmed when we had this higher high. So this high here was lower than the previous. So now that we're having this upwards trajectory trend, it's a lot more bullish for price action. We well. We've now, sorry, reiterated and reinforced this upwards move with another higher low and another higher high if this is to be the high. So hopefully, as I said, we can come down, make another higher low, and then at some point regain the strength to actually break above from this trend line and even higher. But above our current price, actually, we do have to acknowledge that there is going to be a fair amount of resistance. Obviously, above this trend line, it's going to be pretty hard to break. But above that, we can just see from technical levels here, this 68 level, and then probably around here, this $70,000 region. Every time we've come up here, there's been a pretty major level of resistance for BTC. As for one, that was our previous all-time high in the last cycle. So if I just zoom out here, that's going to be a pretty difficult level to break just because any time we're around an all-time high, that psychological level comes into play and a lot of people are going to try and lock in some profits. As well as $70,000, which is obviously just a big psychological round number, such as fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. They're always key levels to watch as investors tend to gravitate towards those points. And then above that as well, we're not too far below our all-time high, which is at $74,000. So all above us, we actually have quite a lot of resistance. So it may take quite a bit of strength and it may not be an immediate rebound that breaks through all these levels. But what we can hopefully see is a pretty healthy upwards trend. If we get some price action where maybe from this point we retrace to the 200 daily moving average, which is hopefully going to start trending up at some point, and then we can come back up, break up through this trend line, hopefully get towards that $70,000 level and have a move something akin to this towards a new all-time high. This would be a much more healthy and sustainable end to 2024 rather than just an exponential move to the upside, which would probably lead to an exponential move to the downside as well. And this would hopefully give us some more retail and institutional interest going forward as well. What we can see is just from the past couple of days of price action, even though, again, we haven't even breached the new all-time high, really, we're not even too close to it, especially with all the resistance above us. It doesn't matter. We've still seen over 500, hang on, where is it? 555 million dollars of ETF inflows yesterday alone. Couple that with a trend over the past few weeks of hundreds of millions of dollars flowing into the ETF market. Clearly indicates that smart money, these institutional investors, are getting a little bit more bullish on BTC going forward. The macro environment is looking more and more favorable every single day for a Bitcoin bull rally. And especially as we're slightly lagging behind equities and even gold, it looks like there's a lot of potential BTC to have a rapid catch up over the coming days, weeks and months. Also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And make sure to check out all the resources we've discussed today, as well as the many more that are all available on BitcoinMagazinePro.com, your number one source for Bitcoin analysis. 
So just to summarize, Bitcoin has continued its upward trajectory since reclaiming the $60,000 level, with price now rallying closer to $70,000 than we have done in months. I think the last time we were this high in price action was July, so it's definitely been an extended period of time with some drawn out, choppy, boring consolidation price action. So this positive price action is definitely welcomed. And even though Bitcoin is showing some signs of strength, we do have to acknowledge that there is a fair amount of resistance above us at that $68,000, $69,000 level where our previous all-time high was, just beneath that big psychological round number of $70,000. And then just above that is our current all-time high at about $73,000, $74,000. So plenty of resistance levels above us that I'm sure people will be looking to take profit and potentially even take short positions. So until we've broken out of this downwards channel that we currently have just been rejected of, we shouldn't get too ahead of ourselves. We can see that the 200 daily moving average and short term hold at realized price are hopefully trending upwards and will provide some confluence and support so we can actually build a bit of a foundation and rally higher. And along with that, there are other reasons to be optimistic, such as the reset and the derivatives market and the institutional market as well, looking at the ETF inflows and less greed and speculation in the market. I really do think unless we have a little bit of an unforeseen bearish event, either a geopolitical event or something in the global economy or in the traditional markets, that really is a bit of a bearish catalyst for further downside price action. Pretty much everything is aligning for some continued strength for BTC over the coming weeks. As I said, it may not be immediate and hopefully we can have a bit more of a healthy move to the upside rather than just a violent pump, which can't really be sustained as easily and doesn't have as organic growth as a nice steady upwards move. But hopefully we can have a positive end to 2024 and this is just the start of a more sustained positive upwards move. If you like this video then please visit BitcoinMagazinePro.com where our analytics help you to cut through the noise to make data driven informed decisions about Bitcoin with over 150 live charts, personalized indicator alerts, in-depth crypto industry reports, API access and more all for a fraction of the standard industry price. And let me know what your thoughts are on Bitcoin potentially having the strength to rally to a new all-time high. Do you think maybe we are getting a little ahead of ourselves or do you think that maybe I'm being a bit bearish here and Bitcoin is set to rally in the next couple days or hours? I mean, I'm filming this a day or two before you'll even see it. So maybe by the time you see this, we'll already be at a new all-time high and then, you know, I'll look a little bit silly. Also, let me know what your thoughts are and a little bit more of a candid approach to these videos. I've not made any edits or cuts like I usually do. I'm just going to try and have a little bit more of a personal one-to-one -one feeling with our videos. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If not, of course, let me know. Happy to provide the content that all of you are wanting to watch. But until then, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.